guys, this is Lab guys. Today we are going to watch Gerard R. Ford class U.S. Navy 13 billion dollar aircraft carrier. So these numbers are 13 billion. We have seen, I guess, seven uh, eight billion. Yes, we saw an 8.5 billion dollars huh. Nimitz class, and that was crazy to me. Huh. And now we are going to 13 billion dollars. The numbers are getting crazy and crazy. Crazy, yeah. Huh. Because 13 billion dollars is something way too much for one ca- aircraft carrier. and what capabilities will it have and like the thing is i think it needs intense training yes intense not intense training but yes because it takes a lot of years just to produce it and then uh. a lot of years to make it out and then but yes because of all this that is why america is in the forefront of everything and they are in the commanding shape so let's see what this 13 billion dollar aircraft carrier has to let's watch the video meet the new Gerald R Ford class US Navy's 13 billion dollar aircraft carrier wow. The Gerald R Ford class aircraft carrier a technological marvel and symbol of American naval supremacy ushers in a new era of maritime warfare capabilities Named after the 38th president of the United States, these supercarriers represent a quantum leap in naval engineering and operational flexibility. With new wow. technologies and advancements in various systems compared to legacy class carriers, the Gerald R Ford carriers are ahead of their time, leaving history in the past and paving the way for their own future. You know, even though the, the Ford class so carriers big, differ significantly from their predecessors. Big on this. Big First on and foremost, the supercarriers are it's enormous. Like a bag, They're huh? the largest uh, ships bag. in terms of displacement ever built for the US Navy. Wow, huh? Spanning a length of approximately 1092 to 1106 feet, weighing oh. 100,000 tons with a price tag of around 13 billion dollars, the Ford class incorporates more than 23 new technologies. The pricing dramatic advances in the propulsion system, electromagnetic aircraft launch system, Boys. advanced arresting oh. gear, machinery controls, radars and integrated warfare system. These innovations will support a 33% higher sortie generation rate and a significant cost savings when compared to Nimitz class oh, carriers. Nice. The Gerald R Ford class also offers a significant reduction approximately 4 billion dollars per ship in life cycle operations and support costs compared to the earlier Nimitz class. The new wow. technology and warfighting capabilities to... that the Gerald Ford brings to the fleet will transform naval warfare, supporting a more capable and lethal forward deployed US naval presence. In an emerging era of great power competition, oh. Ford class will serve as the most agile and lethal combat platform in the world. with improved systems that enhance interoperability among other platforms in the carrier strike group as well as with the naval forces of regional allies Ooh, and partners another distinctive class. feature of the Gerald Ford is its 11 advanced weapons elevators capable of lifting heavier loads up to 24,000 pounds compared oh. to those on other carriers oh, the oh, movement oh. of weapons from storage and assembly to the aircraft on the flight deck has been streamlined and accelerated america's become the nimitz will be lifted to the centralized rearming location via higher capacity weapons elevators that use linear motors the elevators are located so that ordnance need not cross any areas of aircraft movement Wow. by reducing traffic so problems in the hangars the, and on the uh, flight deck. Weapons have elevators. In 2008, wow. Rear Admiral Dennis M. It's Dwyer says these changes would the make it right? hypothetically I'm possible nice. to rearm the airplanes in minutes instead of hours. This is an easy way to bring them up, no? Mm. Furthermore, the USS Gerald Ford is equipped with two A1B nuclear reactors. These reactors are smaller and simpler, requiring fewer crew members. Yet they're significantly more powerful than the Nimitz class A4W reactor. There's a whole team. Two huh? reactors are installed on each Gerald R Ford class carrier, providing a power generation capacity at least 25% greater than that of the two A4W reactors in a Nimitz class carrier. The Navy expects that the Gerald R Ford class will remain part of the fleet for 90 years until the year 2105. This means that the class 90, must effectively yes. adopt new technology over the decades. 90 years. Currently only half of the electric power generation capacity is utilized by planned systems with the remaining half available for future technology. Then it is worth it if it is 90 years then. A growing fleet. Glowing It's anticipated fleet. that there will be 10 ships in this Ford class. Thus far 5 have been announced. USS Gerald R Ford CVN 78 
USS John F. Kennedy, CVN-79, uh-huh. USS Enterprise, CVN-80, 80. USS Doris Miller, CVN-81, oh. and CVN-82. CVN-82. The USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, is the pioneering aircraft carrier of its class and represents the first new aircraft carrier design in over 40 years. The keel of the Ford was laid on November 14, 2009. Laying the keel is the formal recognition of the start of a ship's construction. In C. On November 9th, 2013, the Ford was christened by Susan Ford Bales, the daughter of Gerald R. Ford. I christen the United States ship Gerald R. Ford. May wow. God bless wow. the ship and all who sail her. Hey. What is this ceremony? Ah. USS Gerald R. Ford was commissioned on July 22, 2017 by President Donald Trump. The commissioning ceremony marks the entry of a ship into active naval service. This was the day Ford took her place in the fleet alongside the other ships. Gerald R. Ford entered the fleet replacing the decommissioned USS Enterprise, CVN-65, which ended her 51 years of active service. 51 As years. of 2017, the USS Gerald R. Ford holds the distinction of being the world's largest aircraft carrier and the largest warship ever constructed. Wow. USS John F. Kennedy is the second aircraft carrier of the Ford class, and it's scheduled to replace USS Nimitz when it's decommissioned. USS Enterprise, the third Ford class aircraft carrier to be constructed for the Navy, It'll be the ninth United States Naval vessel and the third aircraft carrier to bear the name. It's scheduled to be in operation by 2028 and will replace the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. <coughs> this so much planning carrier goes air on. Wing. The aircraft carrier with its embarked carrier air wing is a preeminent asset for the maintenance of maritime superiority across the oceans of the globe. History has time and again shown the invaluable benefits of having the capability to bring decisive air power to bear from the sea. Wow. The carrier air wing serves as the primary means of deploying both offensive and defensive firepower. The Ford has the capability to carry more than 75 aircraft, which includes a diverse range of aircraft such as the F-35C Lightning II, no, they can F-35. Start they can Super start a war Hornet, from that ship only. Wow. Growler, 75 is too much. Hawkeye, C-2A Greyhound, and such MH-60 big planes. RS helicopters, and unmanned combat aerial vehicles. Oy, wow. In 2020, the U.S. Navy Ooh. commenced the replacement of C-2As with CMV-22Bs, thereby fulfilling the carrier onboard oh, delivery nice mission one? for the large mm. deck carrier fleet. It's like a toy. In addition to its uh, versatility, the Ford class can recover and launch various short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft used by the U.S. Marine Corps. Furthermore, the ship's design margins allow for the integration of future next-generation aircraft known as the FAXX fighter jet. The FAXX is part of a development and acquisition program for a future sixth generation air superiority fighter intended to replace the F-18 EF Super Hornet and complement the F-35C starting in the 2030s. Ford Defensive Systems In addition to the carrier's air wing, the Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier is equipped with a formidable array of defensive weaponry. These include two RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow oh. missiles, two RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile Systems, hey, nice. three Balanced Close-In oh. Weapon Systems, CWIS, for close range defense, as well as four Mark 38 25 millimeter machine gun oh. systems and four M250 caliber machine guns. Fun. He's having fun. fun capacity huh? means that the ship could potentially host laser self-defense weapons oh. powered by the ship's laser. nuclear reactors. Such a system would have so a advanced. virtually yes. limitless ammunition supply, significantly have, enhancing the ship's video. defensive capability. Wow. Ford Carrier Strike Group. A carrier strike group, abbreviated as CSG, is a type of carrier battle group that's a principal element of U.S. power holding enough firepower to rival the air forces of entire nations. Its mission is to achieve and sustain air, sea, and undersea control, response to crisis, and protect United States interests anywhere, anytime. Known for being powerful, mobile, flexible, independent, and sustainable, 
A carrier strike group typically contains roughly 7,500 personnel and 7, a variety of ship types, including a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, at least one cruiser, and a destroyer squadron with at least two destroyers or frigates. Wow. A carrier strike group also on occasion oh. includes submarines, attached logistic ships, and a supply ship. The carrier strike group commander operationally reports to the commander of the numbered fleet who is operationally responsible for the area of waters in which the carrier strike group is operating. Ford class carrier strike groups have the capability to strike targets from a thousand miles away and can extend their reach even farther with aerial refueling. Miles. As noted by Brian Clark, a former U.S. Navy officer and defense expert at the Hudson Institute, these groups possess the ability to defend against air, missile, and submarine threats and can maintain maritime security over an area spanning hundreds of square miles. Aircraft carriers have long been used to project strength and deter hostile forces. Now we know why is it so expensive. Because it has everything. Everything. All the facilities also, you know, they have, you know, that systematic planning and, mm. you know, they have divided the work properly. Yes, and one uh, one thing is retiring, the other one is ready. Uh -huh. And the other one is much bigger than the previous one. Like, previous ones were also very big, but this is something different class. Totally different. And then they are building it for 90 years. Uh, that is too much 90 years like it is then I think so then it is worth it 13 million dollars you know sometimes I wonder humans are against humans this is like you know they are preparing missiles and they are you know like they are protecting protecting their country that is so that is good hmm. but for some instance I think that why why we human need this because you know lack of love and you know, you know greed to grab hmm. the land of yes. someone else to and steal. to protect ourselves so that is the case and also this is something very good and now there are, there are even more five more planned like they are saying 10 Gerard Ford class ships will be made so this is oh. amazing. So how do you guys think about it? Do let us know in the comment section below. Do like, share, subscribe. Bye. Bye.